Hey guys, just here. I'm back and tonight we are documenting these adorable photos of my son enjoying a hot chocolate at the apple orchard. And what I've done here is I've cut out his photos using Silhouette Design um, software in, in the shape of this travel coffee mug in which, as you can see, I'm demonstrating, I'm making it a hidden pocket, which I find it so cute. This came out so adorable. So the photos are going to be back to back. And so when you pull them out, pull it out, you can, you know, flip it over and see the other side. And um, we are covering the, the cut file coffee mug in a floral designed paper from the Cozy Days collection that um, I used as part of my kit for this October daily. And again, another simple idea, but fun, functional, and just different. So we're using Redline tape to attach the front part, which is going to be the pocket. I like to use Redline when, with some things gonna be open to close or utilized a lot. It's just a little bit more durable. And just make sure that it doesn't fall apart over time. So that red line is, is really secure, and you can pick that up pretty much anywhere, any scrapbook store. Um, so I'm, a lot, I'm outlining the edges and then uh, obviously keeping the top open so I can slide the photo in and out. Now I did make the photos slightly smaller so that they would fit inside this pocket. Um, but I, there was still little challenges. It was a little tight at first, but um, I think it's just a matter of, of working it. Um, if I had to do it again, I would probably make the photos just a smidge smaller or narrower, I should say, so they'd fit a little bit more comfortably in the envelope. But it does work. Um, it just, it's a little, takes a little force to get it in. So at the end of the day, it's a functioning pocket. It's really cute. So then I have the, the, the top piece of the mug, and I'm going to add that to either side of the photo. And so it looks seamless when it's put together. Again, using red line tape, so that way, because you're gonna be grabbing this, so you want it to stick. And so this top piece had, had two parts to it. So it had that larger piece, and then you're gonna come back in and add the lip to it um, to, to give it a little dimension. And off camera, after I finished this, I actually ended up going back and using one of my um, markers and just outlining uh, the edges of the lid in like a, a gray, just to just to define it just a little bit more and I think that looked really nice but this is still so very cute very easy to do and such a fun idea right um it's, it's something different than your standard pocket page or your six by eight page and so then I'm going to add the pattern paper to the back side um actually sorry this is the the koozie if you will or cup holder um there's one for either side to that. So I added to the front and this cute little button that says, okay, but first coffee. He's drinking hot chocolate, but still it's really cute and very fitting. <laughs> and the colors match. It's got the pink and the flowers. And then I have this textured like linen uh, type ribbon and, or it's like a woven ribbon. And I was like, oh, that'd look really cool around it. So this is where I decided to add the backing paper and then the other cup holder and I'm actually going to wrap the ribbon around the entire cup so it's seamless and that 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 button or that that chipboard piece I should call it that says okay but first copy coffee will um actually cover the seam and you won't even notice it so you'll see that in a moment once I get the rest of this on but I just loved the texture that that ribbon brought in so it this is already kind of a dimensional piece but it just added a that little bit extra that I thought was was needed for this very simple pocket very simple layout and the cream color um, just complements that brown and the rest of the colors in the pattern paper just so nicely so I love it when things like that work out <laughs> just so great and I'm just tacking it down with um, my ATG nothing um, too strong needed here. And then that chipboard piece actually had adhesive on the back, which worked out really well. And then I just brought in some leaves and tucked a couple in around the um, chipboard piece, just, just to add a little bit more pizzazz. Um, I was debating on whether or not to do something on the back, but ultimately I decided not to do that. Um, I kept it blank, like a typical 
coffee, travel coffee cup. So here's the final product. I think it looks so good and it's so fun. Oh, it just makes me smile. I love it. And then to put this in the album, I'm actually going to get one of those, um, Felicity Jane, um, three hole punch acetate pieces that, um, you can attach to your pages or your, uh, yeah, dimensional pieces such as this and put it in your album. So this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this process video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Have a great night. Bye.